Hey there, Isma here. Hope you're all doing fine and staying safe. I have another manga haul for you guys today. And this one is just from Write Stuff. And also, I learned from last time and I made sure to keep all my um, series together. So first off, I have Sayuki. I have volumes, this is a perfect, sorry, the resurrected edition. And so here's volume one and volume two. These are hardcover. And I think this is like 18 years later, we get these um, versions. I'm a huge fan of Sayuki. I've watched the anime, I watched like the OVAs, but I've never read the manga at all. Like not even online or anything. But as soon as I found out that these were online and available, I decided to buy them. So these hardcovers are omnibuses. So they each have two volumes in them. And I think the fourth, vol the fourth omnibus, it has three volumes, which will complete the series. So there's like nine. So they took all nine volumes and put them into four omnibuses. So we have Sanzo on the first one and then Gojo on the second one. And then the third one is Goku and the fourth one is Hakai. Just in case you don't know, Sayuki, it takes like this, the original classical story of these four travelers going from like China to the West. And it's basically like loosely based off of that. It's really good. Um, artwork's amazing. Oh, and the color pages in the back. And the translation notes. I've actually started reading it as soon as I got them. So I'm almost halfway done. Oh, and like Sanzo, he's a priest. And then the other three travelers with him, they're all like yokai, but they're not like full yokai. Um, yeah, I feel like a good journey story of like people trying to trying to save the world. So what happened is that their world, humans and yokai, they live peacefully together. However, um, suddenly somebody's trying to revive like a demon lord, a really violent one, and that is causing all the yokai to go evil. And they're trying to stop that from happening and they're trying to figure out why. And yeah, it's really funny. Um, there, are, there are some tragic like backstories in here, but you know, nothing too gruesome. I got one Black Clover volume, but it's the first one. So now I have volumes one, two, four, and I'm excited. I did order a few more. Hopefully those come soon. I love Magna. Oh my gosh. We don't see him much. Um, anymore and like the newest anime arc i haven't seen i'm not i haven't read the manga yet so i'm not up to date but yeah i miss him and luck too i got more black cat i got volumes 8 13 17 18 19 and 20 the last one so now i have all the volumes except 16 and 15 which is fine with me but i'm happy i have most of them and i'm done collecting them so yay definitely need to finish rereading i really love the colors and if you put them together like on the spine like the spines together. I just love the characters, like the character artwork. Let me move the camera down. Now for some shoujo. I got Tale of the Moon volumes one, four, and five. So I think I have one to six, and then I have like 11. Yeah, I think I have one to six or seven. I have one to six, sorry, and then I have like 13, 14. So after I read these, I'm probably going to order more, but really excited. Let's look through the artwork real quick. If you 
Do, do, do. I mean, I like ninjas and I like romance and I like comedy, so I think I should still enjoy it. Okay, and now I have SA. I have volumes, whoop, let me show you <laughs> properly, 8, 9, 11, 13, 14, 16, 17, and 17 is the last one. So now in my collection, I have all of them. I have 1 through 17, and I can properly binge read. And I'm so excited. These are the... Let me show you guys the covers. So here's eight. Nine. K and Finn. K and his mom. Volume 11. Volume 13. I forgot the girl's name. But there's K. And there's Ow. And I think there's Ow. Actually, I don't remember. And Hikari. And then we have Tadashi and Akira. And last we have our main couple, Hikari and K. If you guys want to read like a happy shoujo with like funny characters and like no love triangles, like, you know, it's mutual between the two of them from the very beginning type of romance, then this is for you. And I'm happy I have them all. Definitely a good time, a fun read. I got three volumes of The Gentleman's Alliance Cross, and now I have them complete. I have the series complete now. So I got volumes 10, 11, which is the last one, and seven. Last, I got Mare Puri Volumes 2. So this is the only one I got new. Um, I have Volumes 1, 3, and 4 used. I found them on thriftbooks.com, but this one was sold out, so I decided to just order it from Right Stuff. Volumes 2. And it's really cute so far. Um, yeah, it's really cute. I've actually finished it. I finished all four volumes. This is the first thing I read after I got this haul. If you like, you know, romance with, like if you don't mind a romance with like an age gap where like the girl is a little older than the guy, well not, well not a little older, but if she's older than the guy, then this is for you. In fact, I really liked it. It was really cute. Um, it's a happy, wholesome one. There are like no really bad characters in here. All like the antagonists, you know, you know, they turn out good. It's very funny, very cute. And I'm actually really surprised because the right after this series, the author went on and made um, Vampire Night, and I don't really remember much of it, but it was not a happy, <laughs> happy story at all. And so I know, like even now, people are still like upset with the ending or with who the main lead she ended up with. And honestly, that's why I don't like love triangles because they're annoying. And there's no like love triangle here. So then again. Like I can't, I can't stand love triangles, so yeah. But I really enjoyed this one. It's really short, only four volumes. It was really cute. And it was happy. There was a happy ending, so don't worry. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you're staying safe during this time. Let me know what you're reading in the comments. Bye. Thank you for watching. See you next time.